Hi guys, welcome back to Share School Beans and in this video I'm going to tell you about the do's and don'ts of a PGCE interview. I've had three PGCE interviews now and I've been looking at other um, PGCE interview videos on the internet so I thought I'd just make my own about the do's and don'ts of what you should and should not say or do during a PGCE interview. Drink every time you hear the word PGCE. Let's get started. So obviously I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Ever since I posted my PGCE interview questions video, I've had so much um, good feedback from that. You guys seem to find it really helpful. I'm going to be doing lots more of those videos because I'm bringing you on my journey. I'm starting my PGCE in September 2021 this year and I'd love to see your journey as well. So if you want to keep updated with that, make sure you subscribe and like and comment this video and I'll link the um, other PGCE interview questions video that I've done along with how to write a PGCE personal statement. Oh, my mouth is getting tired from saying PGCE. I'll link the videos at the top and you'll see them. Make sure you subscribe, but for now, let's get started. So the first don't during a PGCE interview is, do not say kids or little ones when you're referring to children. For some reason, it seems really unprofessional. I'm not sure why. I don't see it as unprofessional nor myself. And the practice I currently work in, we say kids all the time. But you know, when you're having um, an interview with um, an education practitioner, professor, they just see it as really unprofessional. So instead of using kids or little ones, do you say students, pupils, and even children? Number two. Do not say anything inappropriate about children during your PGC interview. I know that's very obvious, but you can actually be thrown off during your interview. Like, if they're like, describe a situation when so-and-so happens, you might be like, oh yeah, this one time a child was being really annoying or they were acting quite stupid. No, never use those types of words. They're really, really inappropriate and it's kind of showing that you can't separate your own emotion towards that child from that child you know every time a child does something wrong and they come to school the next day it's always a fresh start you cannot have those same feelings and to use that sort of language like you know stupid silly um uh, what was the other one annoying it just seems like you can't take away your own emotion from that child so please don't use those words because you'll just get a big cross next to your name on that pgc interview list Instead, do you talk about the safeguarding and welfare of children? You can talk about how a child may be um, being difficult because something is happening in their life. Are they being neglected? Is something happening at home? Read around um, keeping children safe in education. Um, that's about safeguarding and it will give you so much to talk about and it will really impress your um, PGCE interviewers because it will be showing that you're trying to learn a lot around the topic already even before you've started on this course. So it will be sure to impress them. Number three. During a PGCE interview, you're most likely to be asked to deliver a presentation around a certain subject. I may do a separate video about that. Comment below if you want that and I'll keep that. I'll post that for you. Um, but during a PGCE interview presentation, never copy anything off the internet. It can be really tempting to just go on to YouTube and I know some people have um, uploaded their own presentations, what they said during their interviews, but it can be really tempting to just watch those and just copy down everything they've said or parts of what they said and put it into your presentation. Do not do that because it's plagiarism, it's not fair on the person who gave that presentation in the first place and it shows you can't think for yourself. Plus, they will be recording your presentation and this is at, say you go to the school to have your presentation or in my instance over Zoom because you know we're going through a pandemic and whatnot, but they do record these presentations for a reason, obviously so they can look back on them, but so they can also check for plagiarism, so do not do that because that will probably be an instant no. And, um, 
I'm not sure if this happens, but you might even be like blacklisted from applying to other universities, etc. So do not do that at all. Number four, do not talk badly about your current workplace, especially if you're already working in education. There can be many problems with your practice, but when you kind of gossip or talk badly of your practice to the interviewer, showing you showing the interviewer that you can't really be professional and that you may even talk bad about their university if you don't if you don't really like the course or something. So um gossiping can also get you fired as well. I know it's a policy in my current workplace and probably many others but just don't do it don't say oh yeah this one time one time at this practice i was working at this happened and i don't feel like they felt um, dealt with it great that just shows you're not being a good team player either so instead of doing that you can talk about how you improved your practice you can say in this instance this event happened I um, improved the situation by doing this. You don't really need to talk down um, about your practice. It's not professional at all. And it will get you another cross next to your name on that PGCE interview list. You will not get in. The last tip is do smile. Smiles just show you're engaged. Obviously it shows that you're friendly. I've got a resting bitch face, so I can think I look like puppies and rainbows on the outside when in real life my face is just like... You really need to smile, just keep in your head, smile, 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 smile to your cheeks hurt, it shows that you're kind, you're engaging, and it also breaks down that nervousness between you, yourself, and the interviewer. They can see that you're friendly, that you might crack a joke, they might crack a joke, you know. Just makes things a lot more calm and I do this a lot and I don't know I just done it just now I don't notice it I sigh a lot if somebody's asked me a question I'll pause and I'll be like <sighs> and it's not because I'm bored or I dislike what they're saying or I don't really give a damn about what they're saying it's just because I'm pausing to think about the question they've asked me and I know that can come across as rude. So try not to sigh, just go, well, hmm, let me think about for, uh, let me think about that for a second. But try not to sigh, especially when I sigh and my eyes roll up and like, and that just looks so rude. But I'm honestly not trying to be rude, I'm just thinking. So those are my five do's and don'ts that you should or should not do during a PGCE interview. You can share your own below. You can disagree or agree with me. I'd love to know. We're all in this together, September 2021. We're gonna do this. And obviously some people will be looking at this in 2022 and the next year and the next year so i really hope this helped if it did subscribe to this channel and like and comment too see you soon